my name is Dylan Sims. I work as a contracts manager for the Specialist Services Care Group at Midlands Partnership Foundation Trust. So I decided to um, become part of the BAME Leadership Program after a colleague of mine sent me some information and after reviewing it I realized actually this could be a quite good course to go on. So I made the application and I was ex successful at that. Um, since coming on the course I've learned quite a lot of um, things about the BME community and some of the challenges they face. I think it's been a worthwhile experience so far coming out and I'm, and I'm very thrilled from what I've been learning and just hearing from other people's experiences who are from a similar background as myself. So coming on the leadership course I was hoping many different avenues uh, for me in terms of uh, not just leadership development itself but also avenues in terms of skills that you would need to progress onto the, um, another level if it were so to speak. But the course has sort of changed my perception as well about BAME leadership and helped me to realize and even become more confident in myself as a person from a BAME background about what skills and contribution I could also bring to the workplace and to a leadership role. The skills gained from this course um, really opens up your eyes to leadership on a whole, not just in the NHS, but from right across the um, spectrum of public services and private services. Uh, the course material has been fantastic, and what I've been able to learn from that is there are many different facets to leadership. Uh, there are many different tools that you can apply to your leadership style. Um, there are many different approaches. You, solve, you will also have challenges I've learned from leadership, but what the course has enabled you to do is to use confidence and use techniques as a way of overcoming those barriers that you come across with those challenges that you face in your leadership and career journey.